Hello everyone, it's April here and welcome back to another video. Uh, we are in my new art studio in our new house. It's November the 25th and uh, I thought I'd start this video today. I'm glad I remembered last night because uh, normally I have these ideas for these longer videos and I, I don't start them. So I thought it would be fun to do a kind of a put in my studio together video because this is going to be my very first art studio that's completely mine, my own room. Uh, and I'm very lucky and I'm very excited. So it's a bit of a mess. We have moved in just this week Everything's still a mess. So I thought it would be a great place to start uh, So I'll just give you a quick little tour right now and then we go from there So the art studio is actually the dining room of the house and it goes through to the kitchen and the lounge there through that nice door and then out here is another patio door that we can open up in the warmer months and coming around, we've got this beautiful window here that looks out to the most amazing view of the countryside. And a radiator, which we're not used to because we didn't have radiators in our last flat. Um, and this nice big room. We got our Calyx up last night, so that's what I'm going to be working on today. And it's got all these beams up here, which did have a few spider webs in. And it's got this weird lamp. Martin likes it, I'm not a fan. I'm gonna give it a wash today because it's very dirty in there. But uh, I don't know, it was very harsh. Like the lighting in here is very harsh. So we've got these two lamps here in the corner. The rest of the room doesn't get um, light at all. So that's one thing I wanna work on. And here we have a big mess. So we have all the boxes that I wanna un unpack. Some random stuff that needs to go in other rooms. And then we have this dining room table here, which isn't meant to be there. So basically this place was advertised as unfurnished and when we had the call we actually we double checked with the guy on the phone like is it definitely gonna be unfurnished because we did a virtual viewing and he said oh yeah all this furniture will be gone so we turned up and it was full of furniture there were couches here beds a dining room table chairs even a television so they are coming to take that away tomorrow because we it definitely said unfurnished and <laughs> it was their mistake so yeah we basically have this dining room table in here and we're not, I'm not using this as a dining room table. I do need a table in here to do art, but it's not gonna be that one. So that's just here temporarily. And we managed to do the Calyx yesterday, even though it was so much stuff in here. I had to move the six dining room chairs in the kitchen right now. And then I had to cook dinner walking around the chairs in the kitchen. It was, it was a whole other story. So that is um, the starting point of the room. And I'll pop back when we have the Calyx up and we can see what else that we're going to do, I guess. Um, this is going to be a longer video. I don't know how long in length it will be, but over time, probably like two or three months of filming. So, <sighs> this is just day one. Let's get going. It's the end of the first day of setting up my studio and it's still a bit of a mess in here. I'd say I've got about 60% of it done. I'll give you a little tour. So we still have the table that's going to go tomorrow got my Calax pretty much all done still waiting for a few little bits like uh, these are my sketchbooks I use right now but what I really want to do is get all of my my used sketchbooks my finished ones like these guys and put them all here so I, I can see them I think that'll be nice and I've got some bits up there that might be moving to the lounge and I've got a couple of plants in here to keep me company and then this white desk is eventually going to be a black desk and a bit longer got all my printing stuff is going to go here and then got my art cart this black thing is going to go and this is going to be in its place I've got my ornaments on the windowsill and I've got all of my art prints I've been collecting over the years here and eventually I want to pop them on the wall up here in a nice pattern I'm not sure if that's going to stay Martin just chucked it up on a hook that's a painting I did and <laughs> it's not really not my best work but I thought it was nice to pop it up there for a little bit so yeah that's it day one of the studio set up good morning it's Friday the 10th of December and uh, I just wanted to guards <laughs> distracted me um, I just wanted to pop on and give a little update on the office so I did film a little bit last night but uh, it was really bad footage, it was like 10.30 at night, it was all wobbly and it was just a hot mess in here. So I thought I'd pop on today and show you what we did last night. Uh, we have had a little bit of, the move has been a struggle, it has been struggle town to say the least. So I mean we've been here for three weeks now and I, I, I'm still not, I haven't drawn 
I still haven't even done anything in here apart from move furniture around. But I think it's getting to a place that I really like. I just noticed that brass fitting on the wall is like so distracting. One second. Okay, that's better. Hi, I'm back. So basically, I don't have a table in here for art. I have a desk behind me for packing, which I'll show you in a second, but I don't have one for art. And my main plan when I first saw this place online, because we I have to remember, uh, you have to remember, I we never saw this in real life. We just saw it on photos and we saw the floor plan and everything. So we moved here. Like everything was pretty much how we expected, but obviously things change. So as soon as I put all the furniture in here, I realized I wouldn't have enough space to do what I wanted, which is I really wanted like a bench, like a work bench that I could stand up on, like a big table that I could stand up on. I could have a stool if I wanted to sit down and I could walk around it and I could do like big paintings and be like super artistic. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen because the space just isn't big enough and it's quite nice to have an open area behind me so I can take dance breaks throughout the day. So what we're going to do instead is I was going to look for a table but it turns out because we have some new standing desks upstairs for our day job work, uh, we have a spare Ikea desk. So I figured I'll just use that for now and I think it'll be fine and if later on if I want to get something new I can. So basically last night we rearranged all the furniture. I can't remember what the last clip is that I showed so I don't know what you've seen but we have a new chair that I'm sitting on. We've got new curtains and a rearranged furniture, put some lights up and all the only thing you have to do tonight is put the desk in and then this room is pretty much done. Apart from I still really want a rug on the floor to help with echoing I think if I'm filming and also just to make it feel a little bit warmer. So. Um, I'll show you what we've done. So I still have some mess on the floor here. These are Christmas decorations, a box of stuff I need to sort out. And then I've got this old desk I need to, um, I've got this old chair I need to take upstairs for Martin's desk. I've got these green curtains that I took down that are going to go in the garage and, uh, of course some laundry. So this is what the office is looking at, like right now. You come in, oh, just banged into the wall. <laughs> Uh, so you come in and then on this side of the room is going to be my packing station. So I've got the IKEA unit that we had in our old office here and I've got all to myself. And then this is my old um, computer desk that I used to work on in the office. Uh, my new chair. And along here we've popped the IKEA unit that we put, popped some feet on and that has Gertie on my ukulele. And of course, Beryl, you've got to have my two office assistants in here. And I painted that, so I popped it on the wall. Then on this side, I'm gonna have the printer, and in the middle here is where we're gonna put another desk. So it's basically gonna be this desk, but just with legs, no Alex draw. So they're like geometric, like this. Pink isn't normally my color, but I just don't know, I just really like this. And then we hang these up here. Um, this is gonna be my print wall for now. I was gonna do like a proper print wall and put them all up there. But I was looking online and I was looking at like white white tack or blue tack or washi tape and all those options seemed uh, like to have some really like cons like they would really leave greasy marks or they'd tear the paint off or everything would be falling down all the time. So I figured, um, well actually Martin came up with this idea because he got me these lights behind and I'll just turn them on now. So he got me these lights a couple of years ago for Christmas and I never had any room to put them up. So his idea was to string them across like this, which was what we'd done, and then do kind of like what I did in my old office where I would hang hang art up, but there'd just be a lot more of it. I think that's gonna look I think that's gonna look pretty cool. I wish they were like white instead of yellow, but huh, we'll see. I'm gonna pop I don't know if you can see the desk. No you can't, but I literally guys I have so much. I have so many prints, I do not have enough room. So I started with the festive prints, I thought we'd start with that and then see how much room I've got left. I think that's a good idea. These clips are really stubborn, like they're really bendy. <laughs> so some of them are going to poke out from the wall like that. Oh, I don't like it. We'll pop some more up and we'll see what it looks like. It might not look bad. I don't think I like it guys. Look at them. They're just like, oh hey. Just gonna turn it whatever way I want. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Oh god. Oh, I just I didn't even pick, but I just kind of picked randomly what I thought would fit where. Oh, it's a nice little collection, but it's too busy. It's too busy, guys. We're gonna have to rethink this. 
Hello, it's the 6th of January. I don't can't remember the last time I filmed something for this video, but we're almost getting to the end of putting the studio together. I had a few little more like little bits to do and we're gonna do them this week. So um so we got a big change today and that is gonna be the desk. I have this all oh, this old desk that I used to use for my um computer room for my day job. It's got a whole bunch of wires under there, which is a bit messy, but unfortunately the only plug is on this side of the room so we had to trail wires all the way around here so we're getting rid of this desk today it took me a long time to figure out what desk I wanted I went over like over and over different websites and stuff looking at different options I was gonna get one where you can stand at and like it was like a more like a workbench and walk around it then I was just gonna get a normal one and then I was just gonna give up and uh, in the end I decided to splurge and I got it out of my Monkey Mintaka account which is like my business account for a little treat I'm gonna get a standing desk here so I'm gonna uh, but we're gonna put it up now hopefully it's lunchtime right now so Martin's gonna come help me and we're gonna put the desk together and I'll show you what it's gonna be like afterwards and then at the weekend we have a few small little bits to do in the office but the art studio should be complete for now <laughs> Why hello there, <laughs> and welcome to my new desk. Yes, it's a stand-up desk. It's a stand-up or a sit-down desk. Or, I mean, it can go so low you can kneel on the floor. I mean, I'm kneeling on the floor right now and this is highly uncomfortable, so I probably won't be doing this. Anyway, we got the desk put together, and when I say we, I mean Martin. Thanks, Martin. So this is the desk, it's a lot bigger, not much bigger, it's probably about this much wider than my last one and about this much longer. So it is a bigger space, I can still, it's a bit of a mess in here, sorry, I can still just about get into the cupboard. <laughs> and then I've got my art cart over here which I'll have to smash out of the way when I'm, I'm working with Gertie. And it does have this nifty... It, it was like £20 more to get this, I can never remember how to turn it on. And you can put it up or down and then you can also program it to have like pre-programmed states. So the only thing I need to do now is tidy up because it's a bit of a mess in here. It's the weekend now and I still haven't tidied up this, we're taking this to the tip tomorrow, the cardboard. But the last thing I want to do wow that lamp is bright the last thing i want to do is i got this board from ikea it's a it's a peg board and i got some other little bits and pieces which are like under there somewhere <laughs> and we're gonna pop it on the wall here so my plan is let me just turn the light on this is the problem in this room it does get a little bit shadowy when it's moody outside but it's fine um, so we're going to put the pegboard here and then I've got a whole bunch of shelves and stuff to pop on top and that's going to be helpful for Etsy and stuff. While I was on Ikea I also picked up some of these, kind of hard to see, they're like little draw things and they are going to replace my handmade, I mean these have been fine honestly they have been but I want to get rid of some of these and then also on the pegboard we're going to have some more like storage where I can hang up washi tape and scissors and things like that. I think it's going to be really fun. That's apparently level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Martin's popping it on the wall very carefully. And I'm going to link the video that I watched that kind of, well, I mean, it's very easy how to do this, but I did watch a video to kind of show me how to do it first. And then I made Martin do it, which is um, a good technique, I think, for getting anything done. It's uh, Sunday the 9th of Jan and I finally think I finished the room, it's about 95%, there's still a few little bits I need to do, but yeah, I did those little bits I was talking to you guys about earlier in the video and I thought we could have a quick little studio tour to finish the video. I can't remember what I've showed you so far, I haven't edited it yet, but um, yeah, I just want to show you a few little bits I do need to sort out, maybe next month or like summer, I don't know. First thing is cable management <laughs> so i've got all these cables on the floor and obviously 
this desk is sit up stand so I need to sort all these cables out here I'm gonna get like a little basket thing to pop onto the bottom of the desk so they're all nice and tidy another thing is I've got a whole bunch of junk in that box in the corner and here that needs to be sorted out and I also have some junk in these two boxes here which I also need to organize so let's go into the art studio so this is the room all set up this is the view from the patio these are my binoculars for spying on the neighbours, I mean um, the birds. Got my printer, my art desk set up there, no wobble, amazing. Um, art cart, Gertie who I still haven't set up, uh, Beryl and Friends, and then this is the pegboard that I popped up last night and today. I think this pegboard is going to be a little bit of a work in progress, I've just kind of popped some little bits up like my calendar that I printed out from Patreon, I've got my washi tapes there, some little post-its, a little plant, some other little bits and pieces to help me pack orders, but I'm sure this will change as I go and find out what works for me. Then we have the bookshelf, which has all of my lovely books, my sketchbooks, all of my stuff for packing, and all of my cuddly toys. I got this one for Christmas from Martin, so cute. And then up there is my guillotine, and some other bits and pieces. So what art studio would be complete without a bunch of lights? And finally, the last thing that we did today. Ta-da! I've got my cool lights back and these, I had these in my old office and they change color. They're really fun. So that was me popping the entire art studio together from the way we found it, which was basically a dining room with all the furniture in, unpacking, setting everything up, buying quite a few little bits of furniture and things, and I'm really happy with how everything came together. So let me guys know what you think of this space and tell me a little bit about your space. As you know, I was just on a desk in my bedroom for ages so I know that we can make art wherever we are it doesn't matter you don't need anything nice and fancy and all of your own but it is nice to have it after five years so I'm super happy I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will catch you on the next one thanks for watching bye